Ava, what are you doing right now? We need to talk. Is there a problem, honey? Um, how do I put this now? What do you mean? Are you in trouble? No, it's just, there's no other way to say this. I need a divorce. What? Why? I'm tired of this, Ava. I'm tired of us. It's clearly not working out, so let's just stop. Hold on. I don't understand. Where's all this coming from? I know we had some issues and all, but that's why we went on that vacation. To fix things between us. And it was great, Leo. We had so much fun together and we spoke about everything going on. We fixed our issues. You assured me everything would be okay. We just got back two days ago, and now you're telling me it's over? Just like that? Yes, exactly like that. I know it comes as a shock to you, but I just don't love you anymore, and I can't keep lying to myself. It's not fair to me or you. Are you saying everything you did during our vacation was a lie? You were so romantic. You made me feel so loved and pampered. Babe, you reminded me of all the reasons we fell in love in the first place. You mean all that was for show? I did it all for you. Something to remember me by. You should cherish it. It has happened, okay? Just accept it and move on. We're both adults here, so do the right thing. Hmm. Okay. Obviously, you've given this a lot of thought. If you want to leave, I won't stop you. What? Just like that? Of course. See, this decision of yours hurts me. But if you want a divorce, you can have it. You're not a kid and you know very well what you're doing. So you won't even at least try to convince me to stay? Or even fight for me? Why would I do that? I really don't need you in my life as much as you think. Lies. Admit it. You'll be miserable without me. How would you even survive on that meager salary of yours? You barely bring in anything as it is. Are you kidding me? We both pull our weights in this house and I bring just as much. If not more. Without me, you wouldn't stand a chance either. Shut up. I'm the reason you have a comfortable life, Ava. Your nice car, expensive clothes and jewelry, and that silly hobby of yours in real estate are possible because of me. That's what you think? That's what I know. Keep deceiving yourself. I won't try to change your mind. I know you'll suffer without me, whether you accept it or not. I'm done with this conversation. I have to get back to work. Go on then. You'll need all that money, girl. <laughs> I wish you luck with the divorce. That night. You still aren't back from work yet. What are you still doing at the office? Ava, you claimed you didn't mind the divorce. But there you are burying yourself in work. That won't take the pain away. It only makes it worse, especially when the stress hits. As for me, I'm going out to party. I'm going to have a good time. What do you want, Leo? Why are you telling me all this? Jeez. Relax with the hostility. I'm just trying to have some fun, okay? You made the divorce easy for me and didn't try to draw it out. That should be celebrated, right? I see myself as a single man already. There will be so many beautiful ladies at the club, so I plan to have a lot of fun tonight. Whatever, I don't care. You're right, though. It's late and I need to get going. I'll be on my way. On your way? To where? Home, of course. Where else? Okay, but which home? What do you mean, our home? Don't be silly. We're getting a divorce, remember? I no longer see you as my wife, and that means you and I can't live under the same roof anymore. You need to find somewhere else to sleep, okay? Are you for real? I have a right to that house just as much as you do, and I'm not leaving it unless I want to. So, after everything I contribute to the household, you're just gonna kick me out like that? Nah, I don't think so. Come on, give me a break. The peanuts you bring in do nothing to put a roof over our heads. It doesn't even count as a contribution. I pay the rent. Do you know how expensive that is? Dollar two thousand every month. So shut up and get out when I tell you to. Dollar two thousand. That's the amount that got you feeling high and mighty? You crack me up. Peanuts. How does dollar five thousand sound, huh? That's how much I spend every month on bills and groceries. You may have paid the rent, but I sure as hell made the house habitable. Oh so? My point is you don't pay rent. Take the groceries and bills with you if you want. I don't even need them, silly. We had an agreement. You pay the rent, and I take care of the groceries and bills. I never complained for once, even when it got more than double what you paid every month. My mind is made up, okay? Trying to convince me won't change anything. I'm done arguing with you on this. I'll be coming home to get some clothes, so leave the key behind when you leave for the stupid club. Nah, there's no need for that. I threw your things out already. You'll find them in the yard. 
What? How dare you? Take your things and go somewhere else. As long as it's not my house, I don't care. I'm gonna let you be someone else's problem now. Why are you being so quiet? Come on. You can tell me how hurt you are. Lowell. Ava? What the hell have you done, Ava? How could you change the locks on the house? Are you out of your mind? You just noticed? I did that yesterday. Funny, huh? You've been partying and having fun for two days, and you're only just coming back? You deserve what's coming to you. What are you talking about? Stop this madness, will you? Tell me where the key is right now. Don't let me lose my temper, or else you'll surely regret it. Whoa. Relax, boy. I don't have the key. But I do have a surprise for you in the garage. Go and check it out. Well... My god, why are my things in the garage? You're evicting me out of my own house? You're so going to regret this, Ava. I promise you. Funny of you to be making threats. They could have been tossed into the yard, you know? Like you did mine. So count your blessings. Besides, the homeowner was nice enough to put them in there. So get them out quickly, will you? They're an eyesore. No, no, no. This is not happening. How did you even pull this off? You may have been paying the rent, Leo, but we rented the house in my name. I'm surprised you didn't remember that. I have a close relationship with the homeowner. All I had to do was tell her we were moving out, and that did the trick. Boy, I wish I was there to see your face. What made it so easy was the fact that you owe her rent. You've not paid for the past month, and that was pissing her off. She didn't need much motivation to throw your things out. Do you have any idea what you just did? Lily is coming tonight. Where the hell do you expect her to stay? Who the hell is Lily? Leo. It's none of your business. Just leave me alone. I just checked out your profile. You don't look like the witch he says you are. But then, I guess looks can be deceiving. Excuse me, do I know you? I'm Lily, doofus. Leo's fiancé. Fiancé? He and I just broke up. When did you even get engaged? What a silly question. We've been together for a month. Huh? He was cheating on me the whole time? Even when we went on vacation? You mean, you didn't know? How can you be so dumb? This is not why I'm here, though. Why on earth did you have him kicked out of the house? Are you so bitter you can't see him in love with someone else? I'm in a car right now. I've been driving for hours. And I'm suffering a severe case of jet lag already. As if that's not terrible enough, Leo just called me a few minutes ago to tell me that I won't be able to come to the house. At first, I suspected he was up to something, so I needed to confirm it from you first. So you're the reason he kicked me out? Oh well. Well, I did have him kicked out as well, so you both will have to figure out where to stay. I don't care. So long as none of us is in that house, I'm good. Besides, I'm really busy right now, and silly conversations are not part of my schedule. You better make time. You need to know what the gravity of your action has caused. I could lose my baby. What? Your baby? He also didn't tell you? I'm pregnant with Leo's baby. That's why he sent you out. Nah, I don't believe you. He told me he wasn't ready for kids yet. Lol. He just didn't see you as a worthy mother to bear his children? My god. He's been lying to my face all this while. And he had the guts to make everything seem like my fault? I'm not here for some pity party, okay? I'm all for positive energy and vibes. If you want to cry, go hug your pillow. And looking on the bright side, it's a good thing you've got him out of the house. Now, we have a reason to lodge in a five-star hotel. We can spend the week there having loads of fun before we get another apartment. You and Leo are really similar and fit each other. You keep telling me things I don't care about. Do whatever the hell you want. It doesn't mean jack to me. Ava, what is taking you so long? Sign the papers and let's get this done with, will you? It's been over a week since I sent you the soft copy, yet you refuse to sign it. Ava, I'm calling you. Answer my calls. You know, you keep pretending you want this, but now I know for sure. You still love me and don't want me to leave. That's why you refuse to sign the divorce papers. You're nothing to me, and your love means nothing. So stop wasting my time and sign these papers so I can leave you in my past where you belong. Jesus, Leo. All this vileness and bitterness for me? 
What did I do to deserve such from you? Why don't you pick up your calls? I've been busy, okay? I've got a job to do. Busy? Please, I'm not in the mood for jokes. How can you be busy with a job that pays you only $30K a year? You should be ashamed of yourself. Why are you yet to sign the divorce papers? Lily and I are ready to move on with our lives and you're holding us back. What do you mean? Hold on. Don't you ever check your mail? I signed the papers that day and sent them back to you. What? Hold on. Hmm. So you did sign it. Why didn't you tell me? It's common sense to check your mail regularly when you're expecting something. Just shut up, okay? What is wrong with you? You sent back the signed papers within three hours of me sending them to you. You were really eager to get it done with, were you not? So, you really don't care that we're breaking up? It's not a pretense? Of course not. I don't have the time for that. You expect me to be groveling after you? I have so much self-respect for myself, man. Honestly, I don't know who you are anymore. Was our marriage even real? Did you ever love me? It has always been a lie and you wanted the divorce all along. I just fell into your trap. If that's what you want to believe, then by all means, we have more important things to talk about, like alimony and how we'll share our assets. When you go through the papers, you'll see that I'm demanding $50K for alimony and $150K for assets and emotional damages. Well, that's fine. You can have it all. Lily's father is a billionaire, and I'm sure she'll foot the bill for me. Matter of fact, I'll make it $250K for you. That will serve as my thanks for not making a big deal of this. I just want you out of my life forever, so I can start living the life I deserve with Lily. Ava, have you no shame? Our divorce only just got finalized and you're already flirting with other men. I just went through your Instagram stories and I've never been more disgusted in my life. I'm ashamed of you, Ava. What the hell is this, Leo? Why are you insulting me? Who the hell is that guy you went on a trip with? How the hell can you go on a luxury trip so soon after our divorce? Have you no respect for me? Leo, you need to stop stalking me. It's becoming toxic. Why don't you focus on your pregnant fiancé and leave me alone? Stop sending me texts and stop calling me. Just shut up. You're the one going around town sleeping with men for money. How can I look the other way when I know everything you do blows back on me? So, what happens after this trip? You sleep with someone else and have them take you to some other place? How dare you? Do you think I'm like you? That's Dale, my cousin. Just because he grew some beard so you can't recognize him? He spent weekends at our place and you used to argue sports together. Wow. So you can't even get a man for yourself and you have to be going around with your cousin. This is pathetic. Are you using Dale to get over me? You're disgusting, Leo. The fact that you'll so easily think such thoughts of me shows just how low you've sunk in trying to hurt me. You don't like the fact that I'm handling this divorce like this. You want me to cry and beg you. I suggest you wake up from your delusions. Tell yourself what you want, I know you very well. Showing off wealth just because I said Lily is rich. It won't make me come back to you. I guess Dale sponsored your trip so he must be rich because there's no way you can afford all that expensive food on your $30k annual income. So, keep hurting. It gives me even more joy. Ava, I've got good news. Come on, I've got to share this with you. After all, you're the one who is most vested in seeing me fail. So, I have something you'll hate very much. You know what? At this point, I believe you're obsessed with me. Clearly, you can't just stay the hell away from me. The only reason I've not blocked you is because I know you'll regret your decision soon, and I want to be readily available when you come crying to me. It'll be the highlight of the entire year for me. Oh, silly. Do you think anything will come between Lily and me? Our love is too strong and the bond is real. Not like the sham you and I shared. See, to the good news. I finally quit my job. God, now that I'm no longer there, I realize just how much I hated it. Wow, feels so good to be free. You quit? You're expecting a baby and you quit? Lol, here comes the better news. Lily got me a new job at one of her father's companies. Oh yeah, my annual income, besides bonuses, will be $250k. Can you imagine what I can do with all that money? I'm rich, Ava. Wow, it is good news, I guess. Of course it is. Don't let your jealousy blind you from the truth.
Ava, I have to be honest with you. Every day, I bless the heavens for bringing Lily into my life. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. Things have changed for me since I met her. Well, I'm happy for you. But then, are you really happy? Huh? Happy? Do I look unhappy to you? I don't know. You keep texting and calling me. It's getting me worried. If you're so happy, why do you keep coming back to me? I belong to your past, remember? I'm sharing my good news with you, as I would with anyone else. Don't feel special, okay? You can't come close to what Lily is to me. Anyway, it gets even better. I have something else for you. A wedding invitation? Yeah. I proposed to her, and she said yes. Ava, I'm the happiest man in the world right now. Telling you now is making me all teary again. We'll be getting married in two months, so save the date, will you? You can come and bring your plus one so you'll have a shoulder to cry on when I get to kiss the bride. Also, wear something fancy. Nothing will stop me from kicking you out of the venue if don't like your dress. Ava? Come on, say something. Ava, I've been looking out for you. I didn't see you. You really didn't come? I told you I wasn't coming. What do you want from me? You should be preparing to take your vows. I know. It's just that I'm nervous right now, and believe it or not, you're the only one I want to talk to right now. I know it sounds stupid, but it is what it is. Lowell, so what do you want from me? You've always had something smart to say to me when I'm in a situation like this, something that can get me back on the right track. That's what I need right now. I need you to tell me I'm making the right choice and everything will be okay. Will that change anything? You should be at the altar right now with your bride. Your wedding started over an hour ago, according to the time you gave me. Well, that's another issue. I've been in the church since, but Lily has yet to turn up. Another reason I'm such a mess right now. Why am I not surprised? What's that supposed to mean? See, I came here for some help, okay? No need for us to fight. Act matured for once. If you're going to insult me, then get the hell out of my DM. I don't have the strength or time to do this with you. I'm sorry. You can see how everything is making me messed up. So, how do I go about handling this like a man and not embarrass Lily? I really do not have the time to do this with you. That was not a threat, Leo. I'm busy right now, but I'll tell you something smart. Just go home, take off your ugly tuxedo and shoes, and go to bed so you can cry and hug your pillow for the rest of the day. Because your bride isn't coming. I know that for sure. You would have known it too if you weren't so gullible and blind. What do you mean? What do you know, Ava? Talk to me. Ava! What do you know? Ava, I'm such a fool. I'm the biggest fool of the century. I can't believe something like this could have happened to me. My God, I feel so foolish and used. Lol, are you just finding out now? Took you long enough. This is no time for jokes, Ava. I'm heartbroken right now. Lily just broke up with me. She never turned up on our wedding day and only texted me this morning. Ava, she said, I'm not the father of her unborn child. How could she do this to me? Come on, that's yesterday's news. Hold on, you knew? Of course. I knew long before now, and you would have found out as well if you weren't so focused on hurting me. You knew and you said nothing? After everything we shared together, you chose to be this cruel to me? How can you be so evil? Do I need to remind you that merely chatting with me is a privilege? If you annoy me, I'll block you right now. Do not test me. Okay, let's just take a deep breath. How did you find out? Did she tell you? Of course not. I did some digging on her and found out she was fresh out of a relationship when she met you. A five-year relationship. She and the guy broke up a month before you met. It's a simple math, Leo. I knew at once you weren't the father. That's correct. Her father is one of those strict parents, and if he knew she got pregnant for a man who didn't want to be with her, he would strike her out of his will. To avoid that, Lily tried to pin the pregnancy on me. However, a few days to our wedding, her boyfriend returned and she returned to him without another thought. She just dumped me like I meant nothing to her. I loved her so much. Why would she do that to me? Well, now you know how I must have felt after you dumped me out of the blue. Ava. I'm really sorry for everything I put you through. I was carried away by her wealth and I allowed it to get to me. Please, forgive me. You see, I'm considering us getting back together. We'll be stronger than ever before, I promise. Lol, I don't have time for this. 
My time is too valuable to be spent with simpletons. Ava? I'm on my way out. I need to check out this mansion I bought on the seaside. It really has a killer view, Leo. I would have been on my way if your text didn't barge in and ruin an otherwise perfect day. You bought a mansion? What exactly have you been up to these days? I also heard you now own the house we used to live in. What have you been keeping from me? Oh, please. Goodbye. And please don't contact me again, or it'll be your last time. You finally regretted your decision, so I can delete your number now. Whoa, just hold on a bit. How did it afford to buy the houses? Where did you get the money? Ava. Ava, I'm in trouble. Please, I really need your help. Oh, please. Not again. Come on, you've got to help me. At least for old times' sake. Lily just fired me from her father's company. She said I belong to a painful period of her life, and she doesn't want to see me anymore. Even worse, she wants me to return the dollar 250k she gave me for the alimony and settlement. If I don't, she'll sue. I'm scared, Ava. Her father is a billionaire, and they have the best lawyers in the country. I don't stand a chance against her. You're right. You don't. But what has that got to do with me? Come on, my love. I know you can give me the money. I spoke to Dale, and he told me how you're making it in real estate. He said, you made some cool cash. That's right. You called it a silly hobby, but it's what made me rich. The money I invested in it fetched me some ROI I used to buy the house we used to live in. That was supposed to be an anniversary gift to you, so we don't ever have to pay rent again. Thankfully, you showed your true colors before then. I bought it just after the divorce was finalized. I kept investing and taking bigger risks, and that's how I was able to afford the mansion. Dale taught me everything I know. Remember that trip you slut-shamed me for? It was a dinner with a billionaire who was interested in buying some property. My god, I didn't know all this. How could you? You never cared. All you wanted was to hurt me. I know I hurt you back then. Please forgive me. Things are really terrible for me. I don't even know how to start fixing them. I never knew just how important you were in my life until I got into all this mess. You'd always have something heartwarming to say that will cheer me up. I'm lost without you. And even worse, I'm broke and I have to settle Lily before her father destroys me. Please, you really need to help me. The alimony was set for $200k, but I gave you $250k. Can you return the $50k? I spent so much on the wedding trying to impress Lily, and now I'm in penury. Nah, I don't pity you at all. You deserve everything that's happening to you. You tricked and lied to me. During our vacation, you deceived and made me think I could work on our relationship. You made me believe we fixed it. Meanwhile, you already decided to end it. You were never interested in fixing our issues. Instead, you jumped to the next woman that came along and shoved it in my face. Do you know how hard I cried each night because of you? Just because I act strong. You think all that didn't hurt me? You took me to the highest peak of the mountain and dropped me flat on my face. I would never forgive you for that. And I sure as hell would never let you back into my life. Come on. I can tell you still love me. It's not too late for us. I can make it up to you, I swear. I just want to spend the rest of my life loving just you and you alone. Let me make it up to you, please. You're a loser, Leo. And I want nothing to do with you. I told you the next time you contact me will be the last time. It wasn't a threat. Goodbye. Hold on, Ava. Let's talk about this for a minute, please. Ava. For a long time, Leo struggled to pay Lily her money. He tried getting another job, but the pay was so meager he could barely take care of himself. Lily was dumped soon after by her boyfriend, and by then it was clear how she tried to play her father. He promptly cut her off from everything that had to do with him, especially his finances. She was only able to get money from Leo. She even went to his place of work to harass him so he could pay up. And as for me, I'm living a happy and fulfilled life. I've fallen in love with a man who adores me, and I look forward to what the future has in store for both of us.